not just in terms of design, that this TV is timeless. All of its features are beyond state of the art. First, the S9 has a resolution that offers four times the pixels of a traditional full HD TV. That's great, but there's not an awful lot of your HD content out there, is it? I mean, it's going to take me a while to get a return on my investment, right? Well, this TV includes an engine that can upconvert HD or Full HD content into UHD content. Any show you watch, the engine will convert into UHD. It's as simple as that? Yes, as simple as that. Your favorite show will just appear in UHD quality on this TV. The other thing worth mentioning is that this TV supports the new high compression video codec, HDVC. HEVC is up to two times more effective than standard MPEG-4 H.264 and supports resolutions up to 8K. Okay, that's very technical. What does that actually mean for the average consumer? Good question. In France, for example, Orange and Samsung will be the first to launch a video-on-demand streaming service based on HEVC technology this spring. It means users will be able to receive HD content even at low bit rates, and also maybe in the future 4K content via streaming. Today, I'm pleased to announce that the S9 will be available to European customers from April at a price of 40,000 euros. I know that's a lot, but still cheaper than many designer watches and surely much more impressive. That's a lot of thing then. <laughs> and if it's not that enough for you, you can wait until the end of the year when we plan to launch the same product with a size of 110 inches. 110 inches, I don't think I'd be able to fit that into my land. But let's talk now about design. Tell us how Samsung is bringing premium TV design to the European customer. Absolutely. We live in a region that is renowned for its design innovation. Europe has world-class design hubs in France, Italy, and the Nordics, complemented by engineering centers, for example, in Germany or Switzerland. Samsung recognizes this, and we are investing heavily in design in Europe. We now have design centers in Italy and the UK that are dedicated to researching European usage trends and bringing those insights into our product. 